Hello there, gamers and mental health enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a groundbreaking study that explores the intersection of scholarly gaming and mental health education, and how it can impact the self-esteem of adolescents. Picture this, a world where scholarly gaming isn't just about mastering technology-based career skills or dominating the world of video game business. No, it's a world where gaming becomes a gateway to improving mental health. Three visionary educators and a school-based health intervention expert came together to create a curriculum that aligns with academic guidelines from the International Society for Technology Education. This curriculum spans 40 lessons delivered over 14 weeks with a minimum of 120 minutes per week. But here's the twist. 83 schools were invited to participate, but they were divided into two groups, those with mental health moments and those without. The non-mental health moment group got the scholarly gaming curriculum alone while the mental health moment group got an extra layer of education. Mental health moments were embedded into 27 lessons, integrating concepts from the PERMA framework and the Collaborative Academic Social and Emotional Learning Standards, otherwise known as CASEL. Now, let's meet our players. 471 participants from both groups, with almost 75% in high school, many experiencing scholarly gaming for the first time. A majority were male, and the racial diversity was broad. At the start, the average self-esteem score was 17.9, with 22.1% reporting low self-esteem. But hold on, the game's just beginning. As the study progressed, it revealed some fascinating results. While 57.7% of participants with low self-esteem at the beginning reported average self-esteem post-intervention, the Mental Health Moments group stole the spotlight. Self-esteem scores improved by 8.3% in the Mental Health Moments group, compared to no change in the non-Mental Health Moments group. How's that for a power-up? Some students even shifted from abnormally low self-esteem scores to normal ranges. The message is loud and clear. Educators, healthcare providers, and adolescent advocates pay attention. Non-traditional educational instructions, like scholarly gaming, combined with mental health moments, can significantly improve students' well-being. And there you have it, a journey through the power of scholarly gaming and mental health moments. Remember, your self-esteem matters, and sometimes, all it takes is a little extra support to level up. Thanks for joining us on this adventure. Until next time, keep gaming, keep learning, and most importantly, keep believing in yourself.